now we're back to our little screen here and now we're going to do a dollar little editing trick so what if I told you you could just go and change the proportions and stretch a video clip to be uh, widescreen when it wasn't originally that way but if you wanted to adjust the resolution well here I'm going to show you how to do this with my project of Gunham Martian memory clips and we're going to go take a look at that Double click it to open it up so I'm going to get in here okay so here we are so yeah so there's some unnecessary layers here gonna delete the unnecessary tracks I'm gonna delete that track so you're gonna click this track here so it's highlighted so it selected it and now you're gonna go oh unnecessary track unnecessary track now you can lock tracks to make there be less so we're gonna go this way so we're gonna go move the timeline marker here so it's got a Martian memory that's where the clips from now we're gonna go and do and just figure out what, what clip we're gonna show here so How about this one, number six? Enter the granite in. Also, delete clips are not going to use. So I'm going to go out. So this is part of the game. But, uh, so this game was originally just only in Japanese, but uh, undo. Overlapped. So, but this. But there has been recently a fan reawakening or a fan revival of this game. So it is in English thanks to our translator, fan translator, Ripper Anime. So Ripper's Anime. Um, he had this new version that's in English. At least the text is. So, you know, later on I'm going to be doing some voice dubbing to put English voices into it. But uh, right now... We're going to be taking a look at this. Okay, so this is not widescreen. It wasn't built that. The game wasn't programmed that way because this is the old PS1. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the clip we're going to be altering. And first I'm going to move the uh, social media stickers. Because uh, they shouldn't be at the beginning. They should be more in the middle of the end. Come on, stickers. Then we're here in the timeline. All right, that's better. So I'm going to click on this media. Now here's the trick: the lock keeps it in constant proportion. However, when you undo, unclick this lock, the proportions can be altered. So you hit here. Now you're going to take the video and stretch it wider horizontally using X, and wider from top to bottom using the Y adjustment. Now, of course, if you don't like these new proportions, you can hit undo and resize it, or you can, if you use your memory, resize it there. Now, this resizes from the center, so I'm going to undo it, but I'm going to, at least going to show you, okay, hey, look, you can put it left to right if you want to. Shift the clip left to right. Now, this could help if you are, um, and you can also type it in manually, too. So this can help a lot if you're trying to reposition and create your own split screen effect. But uh, in the meantime, and I'll show the split screen effect again in a, in a second. But uh, for now, we're just going to show how to adjust the proportions. So yeah, now we have a 16.9. So you're going to see that you can see that it's a widescreen proportions by looking at your project settings. So this is how the project settings show how this is done. Widescreen default good, and it also is in 4K. So, this is gonna march memory 4K, all good. Now, for a little demonstration here, I'm going to create the split screen effect, which is pretty fun as well. So, we're going to go make ourselves a split, and I'm also going to run a label it. So, we have a new we have a new name because it's a different clip. 
So it's got a Martian memory, but I'm going to say, oh, okay. This is where you meet the character known as Chaos, so. So meaning Chaos. So that, that right here. Now this little uh, title thing you see right there. It's in special titles, so you can look up here. You can get whatever, and it's using this kind right here, sci-fi film title. Now you can have tons of different special titles. It depends on how your, how far into the premium range your subscription to Wonder Share Film War is. To get special titles, you can also make your own in custom ways by uh, going here. And you can just choose these. And you can even do word art with these and make your own title custom made. So go here. What kind of font do you want? Nah, I don't want that kind of font. I'm going to go with... Let's try Aria Bold. Let's try Aria Bold. And you can make it look 3D too. So you have these various ones here. So yellow is big, like comic book type font with the yellow and black outline. Silvery look. And at this kind, it's a gradient, so where it shifts from one color to another. So you can go, okay. Or you can do other word art. So word art has a lot of different options for making it, giving it a cool looking appearance. Neon. Oh, let's see right here, just shadowy, all these. But I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not going to do it in my version of the video. But there. Word art. Making your own title. Your own custom title. Easy. And then you're going to click on this. Right click on it. And select delete. Signing up for the final product. Now we're going to show you effects. Effects. It's recommended. So we're going to go. Split, and you can you can do a search, a text search. So, split, split, split screen, and now you can have multiple clips running together. So, multi-screen, and now if we do the multi-screen, you can uh, go and say, okay, how do I want to do this? Go. So you do need an internet connection to do a lot of these effects, okay? Now this is an outline for where I can put the various clips in it. So I can go my media. You can also do a split. You can go my media, and you can just go. Oops. Now, if you notice here, I can shrink this, take it and go, I want to size it down to be part of the four-way Swiss screen. These little outlines show me, hey, that's where I can put the, the parts of this split screen. Right here. So that, that's a nice little overlay. And I'm going to go out of this. Now I'm going to get out of the split screen one. We're going to look at templates. Now this is another way you can do a split screen. So here, you're like four-way split screen with three small panels. Now you just have to extend it a little bit. But here, we have the split screen effect. You could just drag it in for your media library and go, okay. You double click the number one. So which one for your library do you want? Okay, let's just do this for fun. So click and drag it out of your media library to there. Then you click and drag another one into number two slot. Number two 
number three. You can also adjust it a little bit so that it, these uh, split screen ones fit. And you can just go in there. And now I'm going to do number four. So, which one is different? So, we're going to do number four like that one. And you can zoom out so that it takes up less space. And go to the individual clip. But that's, that's a very simple way to do the effect. So, the split screen effect is there with all the media clips in it. So that's another way of doing split screen besides doing it by hand. Mainly by hand is a lot more difficult and takes more steps. So we're going to just delete this. Because we're not interested in doing that. And in the meantime, uh, you want to know where stickers are? Let's look at stickers. So... You want to put a, like things in there, say to like or subscribe. So you go to, first, you double click stickers and you look for social media. Bam! So, so you can use a social media thing to say subscribe. So we want to zoom into the timeline. So you use the zoom in part so it's, you can, it's on a tiny speck where it is. So now it's like, no, I don't want it like that. I want it smaller and I want it down here. So, drag it and relocate it down to the middle to say subscribe. Pretty simple, not too hard to do it. So, in the meantime, I'm going to publish this eventually, but these are some more little editing tricks you got right here. And I hope you enjoyed this session. So, I'm going to be saying farewell to you, and I'll be signing off. Hi everyone, Kiel's Nova here, and I just want to show a basic, some basics on my channel here. Um, I've got some recommended channels. This is introduction. I have an, a nice introduction for those who are visiting my channel homepage for the first time. To explain the ins and outs. I have a couple of uh, extra places here on my channel. I have my merchandise store for you to check it out. I'm just updating it. It's just, it's just some fun merchandise. T-shirts, shoes, cups, <laughs> mouse pads, t f cell phone stickers, coffee mugs, etc. Nice little place. Also, something for showcasing episodes is you can reach me on my Facebook page. Send me a Facebook message and include... Let's say, let's just say uh, showcase contributions and have a link of that video um, when you do. Follow me on Facebook too. I've got some nice things there. Also, I've got Instagram for just showing some jokes and memes and announcements such as Tron Aries happening and other uh, pop culture things that I view. So I recommend the Instagram page and. I also have a Rumble. Uh, my Rumble channel is mostly focused on doing hobby stuff. That, and some things are not found on YouTube, but they are found on my Rumble. So I recommend checking out the Rumble channel. And that should conclude it. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I am going to be signing off. Hi, everyone. Just over here, and this is the ending of the video presentation on Chaos Tutorials. And here's the deal: if you want to see more of my uh, tutorials on getting your old games to work on Mac, and you want to see more tutorials on how to do various other 
tasks, such as very cheap ways to make YouTube videos that still look decent, and much, much more. Um, feel free to subscribe, and if you want to be among the first to get each video, hit the notifications. And please, if you enjoy liking this, your vote still counts, so please click the like with a big thumbs up. All right. You have a wonderful day, and I'll be signing off.